Hello, YouTube. How are we doing today? Welcome back to some mother flipping days gone, man. Happy days gone day, everybody. Yeah, welcome in. Let's see who we have with us this evening. CJ Voorhees 93 and DJ Garf 1210. Right there at the top. What's up, guys? Lucky Kitty 13. Hello, ma'am. And James Guan. What's up, buddy? <laughs> That's not, I feel like that's kind of not fair, man. Sounds like a shitty boat on the Mekong River. <laughs> it's the early game bike from Days Gone, man. And and look at all that beautiful fucking mud. Look at the texture on that shit. I've, I've walked in, in mud in Oregon that looked just like that. Fucking incredible. Saw a sunrise that looked similar to that. With those mountains in the background. I've been here, man. This place was kind of cool, actually. 2009. This is the only game that Chomp 2009 has ever platinumed. Uh, me too. I think by accident, Horizon Forbidden West. But that's mostly because, like, all of the trophies in that game you get just by playing the game and being good at it. Uh, and, and similar with this one is I certainly didn't chase any of them down on purpose. I don't, I don't do trophies, man. I, I don't have any interest in them. I don't have any use for them. Um, but if you get some just by, from playing the game, yeah, yeah, I got them. Uh, so Days Gone and Horizon Forbidden West, I think, are the only ones that I've ever got a plat on. But yeah, this one's worth it. This one is one of a kind. Days Gone is a singular experience. Let's talk about Days Gone for a moment, shall we? Folks, if, uh, you know, fuck, all of you already know this. You know this shit. You know this is the game that got my channel started. You know this is a game that has literally changed my life. I met my fiancé through this game. I helped to start and became a part of myself of this amazing fucking community. Um, I have fucking moved Left my old job, moved to a state that I love. I left my old job that I hate, moved to a new place that I love, and, and now do a job that I love because of this game right here. So, Ben Studio, all you folks, man, thank you. Every single one of you, John Garvin, Jeff Ross, Eric Ross, uh, Eric Jensen, all of you guys, seriously. Thanks, man. Even though I can't talk straight... Seriously, fucking thanks. Let's do it. So where we're at right now, I figure what we'll do this evening. Uh, this is a little bit different. Um, what, you know, everybody's just been going out and you're just killing hordes and, and doing their thing today. You know, Claire was playing her just daily live stream of Days Gone this morning. Uh, and she was uh, doing missions and killing hordes and stuff uh, a little bit further into the game. Uh, Borislav247 did some great horde killing stuff today. Uh, lots of other folks. Uh, Joey Image was streaming today and did some some modded gameplay with like some really extreme mods in there. Lots of enemies, lots of big weapons and stuff like that unlocked. Uh, so lots of cool shit. So what I wanted to do today, I wanted to kind of get back to my roots and do a little bit more of what I'm known for. Uh, and that is getting people through the early hours of the game. Now, in this playthrough right here on this save file... Uh, you'll see that I've already got the SMP9 unlocked. So where we're at and what we're doing right this moment, all I have done is unlock the SMP9 by killing four hordes, and I've gone to, gone to all of the hidden loot locations and geared up. So let's take a look at my gear real quick. I just want to show you all where we're at. So I've got a full set of, you know, full complement of tools. I, I've used maybe one proximity bomb. Uh, but everything else is, I've got just about as many as I can carry one attractor down. Uh, I've got the best weapons you can have. It's not showing my SMP9. There it is. Uh, the, the, the best weapons you can have at this point, uh, the best two you can pick up, and the best one you can unlock. So we're in pretty good shape right now. And the hidden loot locations uh, should respawn here in a few days, you know, so we have access to more loot as well. So what I'm actually going to be showing today is, all right, so you've got your SMP9. What now? Now what do you do? What do you do in that meantime? And what made me think of this was earlier today on Claire's playthrough, she hit a point where she was trying to get to trust level three at Tucker's camp because she had decided that she wanted 
to go ahead and unlock the MG45. So she wanted to level three at Tucker's camp for the MG45, and she just wasn't quite there. Uh, and she was asking me, she was like, Rex, what, what do you do? How, how are you already level three when you get to this point in the game? How do you already have the MG45 at this point in the game? And I was like, well, I mean, I, I do have a method for that. There's a, there's a very specific way that I do that, and I'll be happy to show you. So we may not get quite that far uh, to level three at Tucker's camp tonight, but I'm going to show you what I do once I have the SMP9 and it's time to go rock and roll. So let's catch up with the chat and let's get started. Who else do we need to say hello to? Neanderthal Bard is with us. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> and Demonic Legends. Love the username. Demonic Legends. Appreciate you, dog. Have a good day. Well, hey, man, thanks for being here. Make sure you like and sub and shit, stick around for a little while if you've got time or come back later on. We, we stream all the time. Uh, Daily Lad 98. Daily Lad, what's up, man? What's going on? And Passion Flower Percussion and Borislav 24-7. What's up, man? Hey, we were just talking about you, bud. You did your uh, live stream earlier today. That was cool. All right. So I'm ready, man. Uh, I, yeah, let's fucking do it. What I normally do as soon as I get the SMP9, I come back up here to O'Leary Mountain and I make a save game up here at O'Leary Mountain. And uh, actually, this is like where I start gaming. I have, I'll show you. I'm mean, shit. I don't mind showing you. Uh, I, these are, this goes all the way back. This is my PlayStation, not the Claire's PlayStation that we keep in the stream room. This is my PlayStation. This is the PlayStation that I built this channel with. Uh, so I have my earliest days gone saves on there. There's right before you go in to do the uh, the Kimult train station horde with Curry. That's right before the sawmill horde, and they're out of order. But that's also right before you go in to do the uh, the Iron Butte horde. And then I have a, a new game plus get me started in the early game. But the one we're looking for, this is where we're at right here. This is the save I'm using right now. It's at No Starving Patriots. It's at the first ambush camp mission. I've already got the SMP9. I'm up there at O'Leary Mountain. And all I have to do is roll down the hill from O'Leary Mountain and go kick some ass. That's I have this hard save here. So whenever I want to air quotes start a new playthrough, I don't fuck with all the opening cutscenes and, and getting to Copeland's camp and getting the SMP. I've already got that hard save with all of that done. Uh, and I've even hit the uh, hidden loot location. So I've got gear too. So with that hard save right there, Let's rock and roll. All right. So what we're going to do is the first ambush camp. Uh, the one I normally do first is just the one that you actually have a mission for, and that's the radio tower. I have a pretty specific way I like to do this one with the early game tools. I love going through this little tunnel down here. Look at this shit. <laughs> God, I love this fucking game, man. Ben Studio, seriously. Thanks, guys. You knocked this one out of the fucking park. Look at that shit. All right, let's go. Let me double check, make sure I'm going at it from the correct direction. There are two different ways to go in. I think there's a path that's a little further west. And if I can slip by there and come up that way, we'll try to do that. It's, it's quieter because with this early game bike, if you get too close too soon, they will fucking hear you. I think it's this path over here. Yeah. This is the one you want to come up from. Sometimes they will still hear you over here, but this is your best chance of coming in quiet. Sometimes you have wolves over here, so it is nice to be ready with your SMP9. But there is scrap and fuel right up there. Let me see if the bike needs to be repaired. If I know there's scrap nearby, early game, pretty much every time I get off the bike, I go ahead and I fix it. Because I know there's a piece of scrap 
just right over here around the corner somewhere. Yeah, just right here by this fuel can. Scrap. Good. There's the scrap. Fuel. There's the fuel. So now we're ready. Oh, if we have to bug out of here really quick, we, the bike's in great shape. We're ready to rock and roll. Or even just when we're done, the bike's in great shape. We're ready to rock and roll. did attach that, right? There we go. Oh, hey, check it out. We need to say hello to Travis Stamper, and we also need to say hello to Dandy Denny 07. What's going on? Welcome in. Welcome in. Hello to everyone. Anybody that I've missed, uh, pop up in the chat there. We'll give you a little shout. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be entirely honest with you tonight. We're going to be pretty gaming focused. Um, Pretty much just get, Y'all are pretty much just hanging out with Rex while he's playing Days Gone on Days Gone Day. Oh, that's what we're doing today. So I'm going to share all the tips that I can think of as we're going. Show you everything that I know about the gameplay in these segments. Uh, we will be skipping cutscenes. I know we've been playing Days Gone all day long. Everybody's seen all the cutscenes. We're going to be skipping all the cutscenes and focusing on gameplay. He says, while drinking his monster and paused. <laughs> have I missed saying hello to anyone? Apologies if I have. Welcome in, folks. All right, so we know we've got a fully crafted Molotov right there. I don't need that ammo. I will keep in mind that there is ammo for my primary weapon there, though. If I need it, I probably won't. I'll pretty much be using the uh, SMP9 exclusively. Um, really until I get better weapons. Maybe the MWS. Alright, there's one over there. So, let's get ready with a rock. Just gonna pull them in a little bit closer, see if I can pull this one. Yeah, I just want to get them a little closer so I can get accurate shot placement with the SMP9. The SMP9 is extremely accurate, even at really long ranges, uh, for being a fucking full auto... Submachine pistol. Okay. But still. It's easier to get nice, tight, tight grouping and accurate shot placement. Oh, uh, at closer range. <laughs> so fuck it, bring them in. <laughs> now it's Copeland Free Oregon, you stupid asshole. <laughs> oh, he does have a price on your head, as a matter of fact. He sent a man after you. A man named Deacon St. John. So once again, like, like I said, we're just pulling him in a little closer. If you're into it, you can totally use that tactic to pull him in. Stand there and wait until they fuck off and then sneak in for a stealth kill. That works too. I just find something extremely satisfying about consistent headshots. <laughs> when I can pull it off. Shut the hell up. Just asking. Right. Get back turned around, Deacon. There we go. Oh. <laughs>
Maybe. <laughs> I fucking love the SMP9. You should not be able to do that with this type of weapon. I'm glad that you can, but you should not be able to do that with this type of weapon. Oh man, goddamn wooden barrier was in the way. I could kind of tell because the guy's head wasn't quite in focus, but still, still frustrating. Hey, quit bobbing around, dude. There we go. Wrong button. Hang on. That's the last of us controls. Sorry. Uh, there we go. <laughs> and he's just kind of standing over there looking around like, oh, yeah, there's a corpse there, but I don't re I can't really be bothered. And that's the last two, right? Sniper on the ledge over there and the one over there in that corner. Hmm. Well, the sniper is just going to stand there. The only one we really have to worry about is the one moving around this corner of the camp over here. So here's a pro tip, man, in photo mode. Now, I have always preached the virtues of using photo mode to scan the scene around you because you can pop over to the lens tab, max out the field of view, raise that camera up, and you can look around. Oh, and there she is right there. I see my target right now, right there on the other side of that tree there. Yeah, anyway. But something else you can do, if they're in range, you can click the right stick, R3. I don't know the controls on PC, but on controller, you click R3. And if anyone is near enough, the camera will switch to them. Why do we care? What, what makes that useful? If you switch to that person, not only can you see exactly where they are, but you know exactly where they're looking. You know if they are looking your direction, you know where they are looking at to try and find you. So let's switch over to the other one. Here's the one we're going to take out first. She's right here. Uh, so we know she is completely unaware of us, and she's just kind of staring off into space, just kind of enjoying the scenery there. So we know it's safe to push up. What? Just like that. more than you. So if you're into stealth and stuff, that's that's super fucking useful because it allows you to basically always know not only where the enemies are at, but where they are looking and where they think you are. Jesus, Cove, how many men have you pissed off? Okay, here we go. I like shooting him in the back of the head just because it makes him fall off the ledge, and I think it's funny. <laughs> All right, so let's fix the thingy here. But first, let's catch up with the chat. What's going on, everybody? Ah, I need to say hello to Emmanuel. Hi. Yeah, welcome in. Uh, some days gone, too, would be great, man. I'd, all about that. Deschutes County Militia, best villains. Uh, yeah, I love the militia in this game. They, they, do, make a, they do make a great endgame villain. Oh, are, are y'all already playing um, Dead Island 2? Nice. Oh, hey, check it out. We have Nightbot now. Uh, the commands that you may already be familiar with on Claire's channel are active on my channel as well. For the most part. Let's tell Bot that he's been a good bot. Did it work? Hey, check it out. Nightbot has been a good bot and has earned one cookie. <laughs> Joey Image, welcome in, man. What's going on, bud? Oh, Travis Stamper putting in the Days Gone com for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here it is, man. Let's see. Um, all right, so we've only got a couple days, folks. Um, this Friday starts Days Gone com. Uh, we're going to be getting together in Denver, uh, hanging out. Um, yeah. You can still come if you can get to Denver in time. We're going to be there all weekend. It's Friday, Saturday, and part of Sunday, early Sunday. 
um, you know, until folks have to start heading out to catch their flights and stuff. But yeah, man, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, if you can make it, come on. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a fucking blast. We're we're just gonna be hanging around. You know, I don't I don't know. We've got a lot of stuff planned. Um, I think it's gonna be fun. Y'all can come along if you want to. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> Larry the Liquidator, welcome in, and old lady Deep Geek, hello, man, I'm glad to see y'all here, how the hell are you? So hey, check this out, we have something new set up, uh, so I've had memberships on Buy Me a Coffee and Patreon for a while, we have memberships on YouTube now, also, you may see a join button on there beside the subscribe button, well, obviously, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. But if you want to join the channel through YouTube, it's kind of cool because it does this little thing where you get icons, a little icon right beside your name there that's custom that only YouTube members have. And Claire made them. I helped her. I, I, it's shaking bacon. I helped. You know, I, I had an idea for, for what I wanted the look to be. And then she helped me um, figure, dial it in and, and make it look right for the channel. Uh, so some pretty cool shit there, and only YouTube members get that. Take a look at it and see what you think. And, um, Le Petit, Le Petit, that's, we're sticking with that. Le Petit, what's going on? Welcome in. Hi. Join button. I'll take it. <laughs> right? This has got to be the All right, so let's get back to uh, doing this mission uh, for the first ambush camp mission. Okay. Also, uh, a reason we're playing on this PlayStation tonight, uh, since Borislav is with us here, uh, let me thank you, sir, for helping me get gold in these fucking challenges, man. Folks, if you're trying to get gold in the challenges, please do take a look at Borislav 24-7's channel. That is absolutely the best source that I know of for tips and tricks on any and all of the challenges. That man helped me get gold in all challenges uh, we did a live stream series together where he talked me through it step by step, and I used my little photo mode trick to slow things down and examine each step, one piece at a time, one frame at a time almost. Uh, and it got me to gold in all challenges, but that's only on this PlayStation. For some reason, I can't transfer that shit to the other PlayStation. Uh, all of my saves are there, but not my challenge mode progress. So if I want to play with my patches, my gold patches unlocked, I have to use this PlayStation. Here we go. Drop it. Okay, we are skipping cutscenes tonight. We've seen these yes, all right. dozens of times. I'm sure all of you have seen those dozens of all times. Right. Let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. I know I have. All right, now you'll you may notice that I'm leaving the corpses on the ground. That's only for now, and that's only because yes. I'm about to unlock an ambush camp. I like to leave the corpses there because quite often when you unlock an ambush camp, you are also unlocking a new crafting recipe that may have items you could not pick up before. So if you unlock the crafting recipe first, then you go up and loot the corpses, it will have a chance to spawn in the new materials that you need to craft the recipe that you just unlocked. So you leave those corpses there until the end of the mission, until you've actually unlocked the camp and got the uh, crafting recipe. A map. Then you go up and hit the corpses because you'll have things like whatever, like when you unlock smoke bombs, there will be gunpowder and cans that you can pick up for the first time. And there you go. You'll have a chance to be able to pick up those items from all the corpses up there. What do we got here? So now box of nails okay. is what's available to us. Which there's tons of those anyway. Sounded like bike engines, riding somewhere on the mountain. I just finished clearing the radio tower for Copeland. I'm, I'm gonna climb the tower, see if I can you, see You, it's their crapper. Okay, so I do like to go ahead and top off my SMP9. Go ahead and do that. That's the magazine is reloaded, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're good on that. What is the current time? Current time is three thirteen p.m. You guessed it, folks. We are resting. I don't really fuck around in at night too much in the early game. Uh, for me, it's when I get my auto shotgun. Once I've hit the point in the game where I have the auto shotgun, then it's like, yeah, all right, uh, bring it on. I like, I'm really not bothered. Bring it on, seriously. Uh, SMP9 and auto shotgun and the hidden loot locations. 
You good to go, man. What whatever the game throws at you. Oh, Jeremy McGee, my brother, from another mother and Mark Brewington. What's going on, guys? Welcome in. Jay Stabby and Gordon Link as well. Hey, come on in. Come on in. Pull up a chair. Pour yourselves a drink. Let's play some Days Gone, man. Happy Days Gone Day, everybody. Happy Days Gone Day. Let's go. All right, so now current time is oh seven oh four. Now let's go ahead and move on. I think what we may do. Let me take a look at my uh, suppressor. What condition is the suppressor at? Sixty percent. Do I have it? I don't have a suppressor for this. I don't have a suppressor for that. That would be nice, actually. I do wish I had some heavier suppressors. Oh, I don't need that either, do I? Nope. I need a little bit of scrap, and we need to check these corpses. <laughs> Get to the crapper. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm good. I'm all right. Oh, hello, Radio Tower. Man, I'm good, dude. It's been a good day. It's actually been a really good day. We got a lot of work done today. Okay. Uh, Claire and I got a lot of work done today. Had a great fucking time playing some Days Gone this morning. Watching folks play Days Gone all day. Listened to the John Garvin episode. Folks, did you fucking know that Claire got to interview John Garvin for the Days Gone podcast? That aired uh, early this morning. Uh, it's available now. Go listen to that motherfucker. Wait till after the stream, but go listen to it. It's fucking awesome. Deacon out. John Garvin actually does answer a lot of the questions that we've had about Days Gone for a long time. I'll tell you what, what you'll want to do, you'll want to go over to the 8-Bit Terror channel if you're not already there. That is where you'll find the Days Gone podcast. And that's where you'll find the episode with John Garvin. Get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. I don't need to repair or craft anything. I can't pick up any of that Try stuff. To stay Let's go. Awake in case they head your way. Out. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Jay Stabby, you were in Claire's stream this morning while you were working, and now you're at home watching me stream on the couch. Hey, Jay X2, finally some days gone. That's what I'm talking about. Finally some days gone. Almost there. Yeah, come on, keep going. Almost there. <laughs> yeah, Emmanuel, that is, it's just one of those things, man. I guess, you know, uh, oh, obviously me. later on, Deacon's got the kind of firepower that he could take on some Nero soldiers for sure. I'm only at, how am I only at 99%? Really? Jeez, whatever. We'll have that pretty soon. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and loot the rest of this camp. Then we'll move on and do the next ambush camp. Now, the reason that I do the missions in this order, I, I do the ambush camps first, okay. because they remove the fog from the map. As you can see now, uh, since we just did this one ambush camp, it has removed the fog from a lot of this area. And it has actually put in different points of interest, like the historical markers and things like that. It's put in a Nero uh, injector site. So stuff like that populates on the map. The Once we get more of them done, the infestation zones will be uh, cleared up for us as well. We'll be able to see where every nest is. The next one we want is going to be, there's this one up here. We've already discovered it. And then there's one more that's down here-ish. Yeah, right over this way. Uh, I generally do them in this order, just because that one's closer. And let's go ahead and finish clearing the place. I, I actually don't need to pick up much here. Uh, I think there's a berry over here. We're going to be needing berries soon when we unlock stamina cocktails. Oh, oh, oh. I was standing right beside a corpse I needed to loot. I saw that red max symbol there and didn't even look at the uh, pick up symbol. Of course, I didn't need that shit either. Uh, we're done here. 
I don't need anything off these guys. Like boxes of nails, I think, is all I even can pick up, and they're everywhere around here. One more box of nails nearby. Oh, that's a pipe. Right there. Did we already get it? Okay, okay, let's go. And the bike is fueled up and everything, so we're ready to rock and roll. Ryan, also, what's up, Ryan? Yeah, Claire is absolutely kicking ass with her podcast, Jay Stabby. You are absolutely right. I'm, I knew, I knew when I first met her, when I first fucking met her and started listening to her podcast, I Saint John knew to Copeland's camp. that she was eventually done, going to get folks like Sam Whitworth, John Garvin. I, I knew that. it was you only a matter of scene. time. I'm still super fucking impressed, though, man. I am still impressed. Let's get out of here before these wolves get on us. Try going hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a starving patriot. Well, sir, I hope to God you're wrong about that. No nitrous installed. Not today, no. Coke. I don't gotta listen to that bullshit. I mean, you kind of do, Deacon. You turned that bullshit back on, so now you kind of have to listen to it sometimes. <laughs> Another reason I like to go to this one next, uh, you come right past this Nero checkpoint, which, of course, I've already cleared the horde to unlock the SMP-9. Uh, but you come past this narrow checkpoint, you can fuel up, you can rest if you need to, whatever you need to do. Top off your supplies. There's always healing supplies and stuff like that at narrow checkpoints as well. You'll always find things like med kits, bandages, and stuff to make bandages. Hmm. What do we have ahead of us here? I saw red on the mini-map. <laughs> Passion flower percussion trying to hide. <laughs> you can't hide from me. <laughs> Nightbot will find you. <laughs> All right, so as many of you know, this is actually my least favorite camp in the Gosh, game. Okay. This is my least sense. favorite ambush camp to take on because it is my most favorite camp in the way it is designed. They these these fucking assholes have a good camp. They are dug in behind solid cover. They've got good firing angles, they've got good visibility. It it actually would suck trying to storm this camp. Especially with just these fucking early game shit weapons. I mean, yeah, we've got the SMP9, but it, it ain't no BFG, man. Not today, asshole. I see you. I've always thought it's funny. You can actually hide in this bush right here. You can see the icon down there by the mini map. He is actually obscured. <laughs> All right. So this is a great time to show our little photo mode trick because we know there's assholes nearby. We know they're right there. Uh, so I can clearly see this guy has now walked away from his ledge and is facing, if I can get it backed out here, he's facing away from the ledge and headed up the hill facing these two other assholes right here. So, Let's see who else we have nearby. Here's one. Ah, see, so we've got another one right there at this ledge. Let's go ahead and just crank out that field of view so we can get everything in focus. 
Add that. There we go. And you can see, you can also see the guys in the background. I don't know how clear this is on your screen, but I can actually, I can see all of these enemies. I know right where most of them are. There's three of them in sight right there. I know there's one on the other side of those rocks. There's two right there. There's another one up there. I'm probably, no, not this one over here. Okay. But anyway, it's, it's just a great way to get the lay of the land and see where the enemies are. And I'm probably still going to fuck this up, though. New skill point. <laughs> that was all I needed was that headshot. <laughs> Great. Okay. I I always start by getting focused shot. We already know that. And I then get, I actually screwed up this time. I get field repairs next. It's always focus shot and then field repairs. Uh, I got escape artist this time really just to kind of try it out because it is useful when you get jumped by wolves. But where I intend to go next is straight up the survival tree to carry that weight. That's where we're going. So we're going to start with this one here. J, J Boast, J Bost. Yeah, J Bost. Yeah, man. Photo mode can kind of break the game if you're using it smart. Yeah. You prefer stealth for the early ambush camps anyway, or using the hordes. Now that is a fantastic point. Oh, uh, yeah, JB, using the fucking hordes to clear the ambush camps. Not only is that smart, it's also fun. Yeah, I love doing that stuff. Oh, and Mega Man, the blue lion is with us. Hey, welcome in. Oh, you got all of the uh, gold in. The, you got gold in all the challenges. Yeah. Thanks, Borislav. Word. Hmm. Y'all like the residue bolts in this camp? Start with the lower guys. Get them busy fighting each other then you can sneak up top and, and take out the rest of the camp yeah cool i find i just don't have the patience for the residue bolts because then you you just kind of have to sit there and wait while they get around to doing it for you all right let's go I see one up there. Can, I can't get him from up here with this, can I? Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Even I'm impressed by that one. God damn. <laughs> We're going to call that one luck. That was not skill. That was luck. How's it going? See, there's these two here. Let's take a look, shall we? Ah, so this guy's on his ledge over here. This guy's over there staring off into space. He's on the other side of those rocks. I saw him a second ago. And then these two right here. All right. Let's go deal with this guy. No, sir. Not today. Maybe this one down here next before I move up on the other two. Oh, this one's close. Right there. Okay. Somebody over there? Yeah, way over there. Now he must be moving off. That's better. Yep. Uh, what do you think now, huh? Somebody shoots back. How do you like that? Maybe? <laughs> I fucking love this gun. <laughs> love this thing. All right. Maybe we can get this next guy nice and quiet. Maybe, maybe. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. 
I was like, I will not take no for an answer. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's pretty good. We're halfway down. Still nice and quiet for the most part. Now, since you cannot step on your own bear traps, I like to plant that one there. It will prevent me from stepping in it. And also, if anybody comes this way, it'll make sure they get caught in it. It's about that time, actually. I think I'm ready to start uh, longer range options. There we go. And we're going loud anyway, so we're going to take the suppressor off. And let's see what happens. There's only five of them left. We should be okay. JX2, are you for real? Are you serious? How did I get my SMP9 so early? Well, <laughs> have you seen my how to unlock your SMP9 early video? Uh, it's kind of one of my most, uh, one of my most viewed videos. And honestly, I feel probably the most useful tool that I have created for the community is the video how to unlock your SMP9 early. Uh, take a look through my Days Gone Best Early Game Start playlist, and you'll find that video in there. And it shows you uh, the method that I use for killing four hordes in the first two hours of the game in order to unlock your SMP9. Right then, first two hours of the game. Yep. Yeah, the... Uh, both of those videos combined will make it super fucking easy for you to take out those four hordes and get your SMP9 unlocked. Yeah, so. I was willing to take that. What do we got left? Four. There's one. See, this one will start to push up. He's got a shotgun, though. I don't want him pushing up too close. I may flashbang this guy. No, you cannot. What else you got? Usually, somebody with a melee weapon will run up on you and hit this bear trap, but oh well. See, it's funny. Claire makes it look easy using bear traps all the time. I can never make the enemy step in them. I always step in them. If there's a bear trap around. I step in that motherfucker. All right. Ah, there's one. I see you. One right there. Give me a target. No? All right, let's have a look. <laughs> we can see right where he's at, hiding behind that table. Time to push up. On my side. Finally. Fire. Fire. Motherfucker. Last one. Gotta finish this. Like that, huh? Being ambushed, you like that? There we go. <laughs> Next ambush camp. Done. Oh wait, don't collect those corpses yet. Hang on, never mind. The truth shall set you free. Not today, Cope. Alright. So again, I do like to leave the corpses there until after I have unlocked the crafting recipe. Yeah, 
Ah, eight bit terror. That's right. I did. see fucking bear traps, man. You say you can't say bear trap without eight bit terror showing up. <laughs> they never worked for me. <laughs> I laid a bear trap out, man. Nobody even came close to it. <laughs> I tried. I tried to make you proud, baby. I tried to make you proud. <laughs> Nobody fell for it. Nobody fell for it. All right, what did we get? The stamina cocktail. See, these are very useful because I know in the early game, a lot of people say, I'm always running out of stamina. I'm always running out of stamina. I'm always running out of stamina. Well, I mean, if you're clearing ambush camps, it's literally the second crafting, the second crafting recipe that you unlock is something that gives you more stamina and lets you regenerate your stamina faster. That's why you get it right here at the beginning of the game. Oh, shit. Hack parachute. <laughs> Jumping in with a fucking bang. What's up, man? Welcome in. Good to see you. Fucking A. So, yeah, check it out. Uh, super chat works. Uh, you can do super chats. You may have also noticed a new button. A join button. That's right. The Spawnicus Rex channel now has memberships through YouTube. We've had Patreon and Buy Me a Coffee available for a while now, but I think YouTube is more accessible because it, it's easy. Like a lot of people already have like super chats and stuff set up or, you know, Google already has like one of your credit cards or whatever. They, they know if you want to buy something on there, it's already, it's already fucking linked. They know it, you know it. But anyway, uh, it makes it easier because it's just right there in YouTube. You don't have to go to buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. You don't have to go to patreon.com slash Rex. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. It's right here in YouTube now as well. Uh, and YouTube members, this is something cool. Only you guys are going to have this. You actually get your own little custom icons beside your name that were custom made by Claire and myself. Also, you get little emojis that only you guys can use. Also, custom made by Claire and myself. So it's a lot of fun, man. Take a look at it. Yeah, see, there it is. Cap, Captain Caffeine. Welcome in, sir. Hello. There it is right there. That's how you do it. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so the time is 1.22 p.m. It is past noon. I'm probably about to camp. Hello, ma'am. Hey there. Uh, it's awfully early. Everything okay? Oh, yeah. Wow, okay. Understood, okay. Oh, check it out. J. Bost. JB, welcome in and thank you. Welcome to the community, sir. Uh, Long-time viewer, just now showing some support. Well, hey, honestly, just by... Uh, hey, here's a thingy here. Celebrate the first super chat from J. Bost. Is that just in there? I can't tap on that. Anyway, yeah, JB, thanks, man. Um, so just viewing, hitting like, leaving comments, all of those things that is showing your support, sharing our stuff on your socials, even like you, you can save clips. I have it set where people can save clips and stuff and you can share those clips, something funny or fun or whatever that you want to share on your social media. That is showing your support. That's one way that people can show their support for this channel. Even just let the fucking ads play, man. I, I, I know it's annoying. I, <laughs> I'm i going to be honest. I use ad blockers myself. I, I actually do. I don't watch ads on YouTube. But it's it's monetized content, man. And I'm all about content creators getting paid for their hard work. It is what it is. Okay, so we do want to reload the SMP9. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's rarely ever going to cost more than a, a few credits. Uh, I'm not going to camp right now. I think we're actually going to head straight to Copeland's camp. Fuck it, I lied. We're going to camp. <laughs> I don't want to get caught out. After, I do not want to get caught out after dark in this game, in the early game. No, don't do it. Wait till you get the auto shotgun. So yeah, we're going to go. Going to go ahead and throw it in there. Check it out. This is uh, one way you can support the channel. That is buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. And Patreon.com slash Rex. Those have been around for a while. We've had those set up forever. Oh, uh, the memberships all come with different types of perks. And folks, don't be alarmed. The, the, the members who join via Patreon, buy me a coffee, 
YouTube. Those are all, they, they come with, they're all set up in the same tier system, but YouTube memberships are the only ones that come with custom icons uh, and custom badges and emojis and stuff. Now, only YouTube has that feature for us. Ready to go back at it. <clears throat> oh, Le Petit, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, actually, YouTube Premium is another way that if you wanted to, you could make sure that the entertainers that you want to show support for now, well, YouTube Premium is one way to make sure those folk get make sure those folks get paid. That's another way to do it. In fact, I'll tell you, I honestly kind of appreciate the YouTube Premium viewers because when we get a video gets demonetized for like copyright music bullshit, whenever that happens, the only people we get uh, YouTube ad revenue from is the YouTube premium viewers. We don't get ad revenue. We don't get ad revenue from uh, any other viewers unless they're YouTube premium viewers. Oh, shit. Jay Stabby. Happy days gone day. Happy day indeed. Fuck <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Let me focus for a minute. Here's what we need to do. We need to pick up the loot and loot the corpses and shit. See if we pick up anything for stamina cocktails. We may be able to craft stamina cocktails already. I can. I can make two right now. And I just need to pick up a few more berries and we can make more. And now, because we're able to craft these, we're able to pick up more of these rags and sterilizers. You know you're going to find a shitload of rags and sterilizers on these guys in this camp here, this early game camp. So wait until you've unlocked the crafting recipe uh, for the uh, stamina cocktails. Then come up and loot the corpses. Uh, as I know, there are several more berries around here. Uh, I think there's one over this way somewhere. Ah, uh, right here. This will allow me to craft another. Oh, Jay Stabby. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you for bringing that up, actually. Uh, yes, the, the way the YouTube premium works is we we do get ad revenue uh, when one of our viewers is uh, a YouTube premium, YouTube premium viewer. In fact, it kind of ensures we get paid because, like I said, even if there's a copyright claim on a video just because of copyrighted music or something, we do get paid uh, for the folks that have YouTube premium. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I am not preaching YouTube premium. Man, that's up to you. Uh, honestly, I personally don't see much value in it for my viewing habits. I don't watch enough YouTube to benefit from uh, paying for a YouTube premium membership. But folks that like if this is your primary form of entertainment and you watch a shitload of YouTube, like, for example, my streams and, and other streamers. I mean, take a look at it. See what you think. But definitely do a channel membership for the Spawnica's Rex channel. <laughs> Please and thank you. Don't need any of this stuff. Bear trap, run. <laughs> Actually, is that a bandage over there? I'm going to need it after I step in this fucking bear trap. Max capacity. There okay. we go. Oh, hey, check it out. I need to say hello to Steven Perkins. What's up, Steven? I'm um, playing Days Gone right now at the part where I fought the boss breaker. What I'm going to do now to take out all the hordes before before I go over the mountain pass. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. Shit, yeah. And uh, you know, did you pick up the MG45 during that breaker mission? You'd be able to take that and go kill some hordes. You know, honestly, I don't do that anymore. I just use the SMP9 and the uh, loot from the hidden loot locations and you're golden. Really, that's all you need for me. Uh, but it is nice to do that breaker mission and uh, snatch the uh, MG45. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, Claire just reminded me I've still got that fucking uh, buy me a coffee and Patreon links on screen. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to leave that on screen for so long. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what I wanted to do was go ahead and craft up a couple more of these because I know that means there's more uh, corpses I can 
uh, loot from here. Yeah, see, there's another rag right there. That's cool. Let's go. Already cleared the camp. Not worried about that. And here's another berry. I think we can do one more, right? Cool. Now we're full up on those. Okay, so we've only got one more ambush camp. But it is a little bit later in the day now. It's past noon. I think I'm going to head to Copeland's camp. And uh, go rest and fuel up and stuff at Copeland's camp. Let's see. We might get some loot here. See who wins. <laughs> Look at him up there freaking out. More bounties. Oh, a frag grenade. Nice. I did kind of waste one of those earlier, just uh, taking out that uh, heavy. Oh, hey, Obscured by Ink is here. Welcome in, Obi. Oh, is Borslav heading out? Oh, shit. Okay, uh, actually have to go do some work now. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, happy days gone day, brother. Uh, glad you were here, man. We'll see you next time, sir. Hopefully they don't work you too hard tonight. Uh, now, wait, what I wanted to do, I actually, shit, can we just fast travel there? Fuck it. I fast travel. I ain't worried about it. I didn't actually kill the guy. I just looted the body. <laughs> hey, free loot, man. Now, early game here, I am still turning in meats and bounties and stuff to Copeland's camp. Um, Really just until I get to level two here. And really, I'm only turning in that stuff here just because I need the money for fuel and ammo and shit. The early game bike upgrades and stuff. I don't. If I have any meat, it's not very much. Yeah. I don't start harvesting meat until I have the butcher skill, which gives you significantly more meat per animal you harvest from. Like three to five pieces of meat every time. Okay, so we can top off ammo if we need to. Anything else I can get for you? I can top off my pistol suppressor, which is nice. And we can't do anything else until we hit level two here. Right. But we can also take care of the bike. How's it going, D? Don't really need much Manny. but fuel. Oh, take a look at that, Le Petit. Fuck it. A coffee isn't enough. I'm buying you a six pack. Just don't make it Bud Light. No, no, no worries. Uh, if I'm going to drink yeah. a light beer, I drink Michelob Ultra. Uh, otherwise, I prefer Texas beer. Uh, Scheinerbach, Ziggenbach. Good German inspired Texas beers. Okay. What now? Be here. I'm supposed to fix this piece of crap. If you don't know, who does? Oh, Steven, you did uh, grab the MG45. Nice. So check this out. Uh, old Lady Deep Geek, if you're still with us, uh, was that you telling us about finding a uh, MG45 on one of the guys in this camp? Now, I know this guy that stands right here has an MG45 in his hands. And I noticed this on my first playthrough. I noticed this guy standing here with an actual fucking machine gun. And I was like, I want that. I said, I want that right there, like that, I want that gun. Um, but I didn't, I've never seen any way to get one. So what What we were told is that if it's, uh, I think she said it was nighttime and the guard was sleeping up here somewhere. He was just laying there sleeping and she was able to walk up and uh, take the weapon off of him while he was laying there sleeping and actually swap out weapons. I haven't been able to test it, but that's it's pretty fucking cool, man. Uh, it's nope. noon. Let's go ahead and let's make it nighttime. 
Let's just see what happens. I'm, I'm genuinely curious about this. Ah, uh, shit, I went the wrong way. Uh, God damn it. I actually know my way around this camp. I just went the wrong way. This is Copeland's little throne up here at the top. Yeah. He seems like the type. Ah, oh, it's over here. They scream when they see you. I, I guess warning other freaks. Anyway, I ran into a screecher. This really bitch. Yeah, it's worth trying to be able to pick one up here in Copeland's camp. Unbelievable. <laughs> Copeland's gonna be pissed. <laughs> yep. Salvage cap. Salvage. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Now, I don't know where to look for him. I should just be a guard laying there sleeping somewhere. Somewhere nearby. See, this one just has the standard primary rifle that I have. Move it. You move it. Butthole. See, there's still one standing here at the top of the stairs. The one standing at the top of the stairs here always has an MG45 on him. Never seen a way to pick one up. Oh, there she is, old lady Deke Geek. He was passed out, and I swapped my crappy crossbow for the MG45. Posted a clip of it, yeah. No, I absolutely believe you. Do you recall where in the camp he was at? Because I don't know that I've ever seen any of them actually laying down to sleep anywhere. Just not that I've noticed. You know, not that I was paying attention to. I only I run up here straight to the the player bed. Interesting. Oh, a good bot pushing the merch. Yeah, folks, check out the merch for real. We we actually have really sweet merch. Our merch store has been specifically curated to only be good stuff in there. We don't we don't have a bunch of bullshit in there. It's it's actually like quality t-shirts and stuff like that. I love my Sponicus Rex journal. I use it for taking notes all the time. Claire literally wears her She's wearing merch pretty much every single day. One of the merch, uh, one of the merch uh, items from her store, from my store, her shirts, my shirts. What she's always wearing: Bear Trap Tavern, or Fuck Schizo, or Sponicus Rex. She's wearing that stuff all the time because they're just nice shirts. Yeah, Travis, you can't hide from Nightbot. <laughs> All right, I'm responding to a text message from Makito. All right, so I, I kind of wanted to, to just give them a little time to see if maybe somebody comes and settles down and lays down somewhere because it is, yeah, it's only 7 p.m. Uh, fuck, I guess let's sit here and chat for a minute, shall we? Uh -oh. <laughs> Has Joe been replaced by Nightbot? No, not at all. And I, However, I haven't seen Joe today. Has anybody heard from Joe? Anybody know how he's doing for Days Gone Day? Kind of missing him, actually. Oh, Ryan, are you fucking kidding me, dude? <laughs> That's lovely. That is lovely, man. It, you know, it's an it's an interesting time to be alive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, she would. Shit, man. <laughs> absolutely, CJ. She absolutely would. Yeah, man. <laughs> like what this is just my t-shirt this is like literally for my company this is my merch for my business <laughs> I can wear this shirt if I want to so let's uh, take a look around Copeland's little tower up here just wait and see if we can catch oh several uh, collectibles up here we'll wait and see if we can catch any folks sleeping downstairs I don't want to spend a lot of time on that um I just think it's interesting. I'd love to see it happen. 
Yeah, it's probably probably not late enough in the evening. Just Folks, y'all let me know. If anybody else manages to pull that off, tell me. I'd fucking love to hear about it. Oh, okay. No, it's okay, uh, old lady deep geek. I'll take a look at it later. If it's on there, I'll find it. Oh, it was on the general tab on 418, so just earlier this month. Okay. Nice. OJ Stabby, your Big Deke Energy sweatshirt arrived today. Outstanding. How do you like it? <laughs> I bet that looks awesome. <laughs> I I love the Big Deke Energy logo. It just it just looks great. The print just looks great on a shirt. See, the one at the top of the stairs here always has an MG45 on them. And I remember seeing that shit and thinking, oh, I want that gun. And then, of course, you get to What's Tucker's up? camp and you What's unlock up? Uh, or you can see that she sells an MG45. And it's like, oh, fuck, yeah, that there's my bitch right there. Let's go. And I knew I wanted to hit level three at Tucker's camp. No, <laughs> Jay Stabby says it's so freaking soft. <laughs> nice oh shit uh, JB says uh, this game is turning into Skyrim for me starting to become more interested in the side content than the main mission yeah there you go that's that's a sign of a well done open world game man uh, a game you just you don't want to stop living in the world even when it's a world that comes for you like Days Gone does Sometimes you just don't want to leave it. This is Radio Free Oregon. Nope. The truth shall set you free. Yeah, Cope, not today. Not today, not Cope. For your truth not bullshit. today, Cope. Big rocks. I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Well, no, I'm actually not. I'm uh, just passing through. I heard gunshots. It might be an ambush camp. We'll find out when I get might there. Might be an ambush Dig camp. Out. Oh, we're up. Yeah, it looks like the kind of place you want to call home. Yeah. Camp full of squatters. You're the assholes who tried to ambush me. Probably, yeah. All right, so we're going to leave the bike here. I know, I know there is some scrap nearby. We'll go ahead and repair it. I know there's a fuel can over here, so we'll grab that here in a second. Two fair amount of crafting materials here. Bandages, box of nails, things of that nature. Bunch of stuff I just really don't need. And a fuel can. There we go. Yeah, James, the new episode of the Days Gone podcast was fucking killer, wasn't it? John Garvin, man. She actually bagged John fucking Garvin. All right. All right. So you can see I've only put one into stamina and like two or three into focus. Uh, so the next one will be stamina. I like to keep them staggered with Focus always yeah, in the lead projector. for me personally. Let's see if it still works. Hack <laughs> parachute. <laughs> Rex, what will it take to see you full stealth at camp? <laughs> uh, do what? No. Yeah, no, we're too late. We've already cleared that camp. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I honestly don't know how. Like, I'm not being funny. I, I really don't know how. That's not a joke or sarcasm, man. I'm not being funny or sarcastic. I I don't know how. It's just it's just not my play style. Like I, I don't have techniques developed for playing stealthily. I, I have techniques developed for being over the top overwhelming aggression. 
Uh, let's see. I do want to make a save game. I need to be careful to not fuck up. Uh, ooh, actually, I don't. That's one thing. I don't have any extra save slot available on this machine. May no shit. This is probably my save game for the live stream play the expert playthrough series we were doing. Damn, dude. Maybe this one. This one might be safe. Yeah, that one should be safe. If not, oh well. <laughs> we're doing it anyway. All right, so check this out. Uh, this is one of the mini camps that has a back door. We're going to go in through the back door, everybody. Uh, this it's, it, it is a camp that is it's well dug in. They, they've got good cover. They've got good firing angles. They've got good elevation. They've got good line of sight. They've, they're dug in good. But the camp does have one weakness. There is one weakness. You can actually sneak in through the back door. Now, they have this back door guarded. Uh, with a freaker trap, they have freaks hanging uh, from this tree here. Now, one of them will usually reach out and grab you. I don't think you actually take any damage. It's just a little jump scare thing. Just kind of frustrating, you know, to throw you off your game before you roll into the camp. In order to bypass that, all it takes, one headshot on any one of these freaks... That should do it. Now, a suppressed shot. Make sure you do it with a suppressor on. Might work with the crossbow. I don't know. Make sure it's a suppressed round of some sort. And then when you walk through, no freaker trap. You don't get attacked. Oh, hey, we need to say hello to Gomer Black Magic. Welcome in. How many playthroughs are you up to, man? What, what are you at these days? 35, 36, somewhere in there. <laughs> Travis, <laughs> my man. See, that's 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 it right there. Travis says, if you shoot them in the face, they don't see you. That counts as stealth. <laughs> 37 now. Holy shit. 30 fucking seven playthroughs of Days Gone. Now look at this guy up here freaking out in the rocks over there. Dude, I'm actually about to shoot you just to put you out of my misery. Sir, sir, I need you to quit freaking out. See, you're going to fuck things up for me, freaking out like that. I'm going to flashbang that motherfucker. Come on, somebody make a move. There we go. Hey, hey. There we go. Okay. We got in position safely. Ah, and he did finally break out of that loop he was in. Nice. That that actually does make things a little bit easier. I don't really want him freaking out like that over there. I like to eliminate oh, variables. Let's do this. Hey, that was a headshot, man. There he goes freaking out again, man. Stop freaking out, dude. There. He's dealt with at least. Oh, hey guys. Shit, he's down. What the hell? Something's here. Hey, what? What the hell? Nah, we're about to have some fun with these guys. What the hell? Ah! Fuck you, Marsh, like sons of bitches. You like to set up ambushes? Yeah? Something's out here. What was that? <laughs>
There's another one. I got you now, asshole. Six left. All right, I can I can live with that. One up there. Ah, one right there. I see you. No, why are you running? Come back. Nah, I don't have a suppressor for this one yet. All right, so we may push up here in a minute. Or maybe just move around the other way. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, change it up. Switch positions. Okay, so these folks have moved around a bit. The sniper's not in place over there. The sentry's not in place over here. Yeah, they'll probably loop back around. Unless they're already down, yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There's one. Gotcha. I think that was our sniper. Yep. Was our sniper. Well, that means there's rounds for the sniper rifle right there. Got another one up there in motion. I see you. About ready to go for the sniper rifle. claim to know where I'm at, but, uh... <laughs> okay, whatever. There's literally no one that has line of sight on me to be firing at me. those two left here you go throw the pipe bomb mm. oh, I think that's uh -huh. it. Roads will be you, they threw a pipe bomb right as I threw a grenade <laughs> not much but Joe Schmo 0216. Look at this bad motherfucker right here. Check it out, man. The Spawnicus Rex channel now has memberships available through YouTube. And check it out. Uh, Joe, if you would, just put a little comment in there just so it shows exactly how it looks now whenever you uh, make a comment in the chat. 
<laughs> Passion flower. It is fun to see the master, Sponicus Rex, at work live again. Gay day's gone. <laughs> oh, Mega Man Blue Lion, you never got to watch me play Days Gone Live. Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't really think about that. I guess that is a new experience for a lot of the new members to the channel. Because, uh, you know, I, I haven't done a Days Gone playthrough in a little while. And Blizzair. <laughs> What's going on, Blizzair? Hey, all. Welcome on in. Yes, check it out, Cesar. Aw, thank you, 8-Bit Terror. I got two members on YouTube. Yay. Uh, so check it out. It puts that cool little icon right there beside their name. Now, that's going to change in color. The little green shark mouth, it's super cool looking, but that means you're you're still green. You're just a greenhorn. So once you've been around a little while, the colors will change, and you get some better looking icons. Oh, we look like the time uh, to have another round bunker. Yeah? All right. So what I wanted to do is unlock the bunker and then we will start raiding the corpses yes we'll heal up in a minute don't worry because i'm sure we'll be picking up rags and sterilizers and shit hack <laughs> parachute Woo! yeah check it out man oh god damn i am feeling the love today everybody i'll tell you what i am feeling the love so, not today, Cope. I, the grown-ups are talking, nope. sir. Calm down. All right. Now, as I was saying, <laughs> as I was saying, yeah, we've had, uh, I'll, I'll put these up on screen again real quick. We've had buymeacoffee.com slash Rex and patreon.com slash Rex. We've had those set up for a while, and those are still there. Uh, they're not going anywhere. But the memberships through YouTube specifically, that's something that's really easy to right here in the YouTube app. You don't even have to leave YouTube uh, to sign up for it. You don't have to go to another website, a third-party website. It's right there in YouTube. Ryan motherfucking awesome. My my long time brother, I've known this cat, dude, what, 25 fucking years we've been best friends? Uh, yeah, check it out. Here I am with, with my monetized YouTube channel and, and one of my best bros in the world as a member on my YouTube channel now. How's that? God damn, son. I love it. Yeah, and see, check it out. It changes uh, It changes the individual's... Your name will now show up as green, and you get your little icon beside you there. Yeah, and you have custom emojis, too. Claire, can you tell them how the custom emojis work? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I fucking love it, man. I love it. Little things like that is, is just signs of progress to me. It shows the channel growing. Uh, you know, like I say it all the time, folks, if if you play with it, it might grow. So fucking keep it growing. Come on. Yeah. Uh, uh, there we go. Check it out. We got some custom emojis in there, too. Fire! That sounded stupid. Sorry. All right. So here we go. We have ambush camp hunter. Boom. We just got smoke bombs. Now, I find it interesting. I really do find it interesting that the third recipe you unlock from ambush camps is smoke bombs. It seems like really, really early in the game to be unlocking something like that that most folks never even use, honestly. But here's the thing. Getting them so early in the game, that is Days Gone telling you how powerful this tool is and how useful it's going to be for the rest of the game. That is Days Gone letting you know, hey, pay attention. You're going to need this. Or, or at least you should be using this. Anyway, I think it's interesting that the game gives you access to those so early on. The stamina cocktails and the uh, smoke bombs. It's like that's they're trying to tell you something by giving that giving you those items so early on. All right. So now we'll need cans and gunpowder. Hopefully, we will pick up some cans and gunpowder off some of these assholes here in this camp now that we have the uh, recipe. See, there's a can right there. We just picked up a can. So that right there, that tells you why I save the corpses until after I've unlocked the crafting recipe. It gives a chance of those corpses to spawn with the, the materials you have now unlocked. Oh, damn, Culver's took an hour to give you your food. Damn, son. You know, I was actually going to ask, man, I noticed you've been, uh, you haven't been around today. I figured you were busy. 
uh, being Days Gone Day and everything, uh, I was just wondering how your day was going, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Figured you must have your hands full. Uh, we do not need to repair or swap out the axe. Rag full. I don't think we need... Well, we might need to... Let's go ahead and make uh, some Molotovs. I did use a couple of those. One more. Aha. This one all <laughs> laid up against the wall over here. Uh, let's go ahead and do a bandage. There we go. More stuff we can pick up. <laughs> Bandage inventory full. <laughs> Literally just fucking used one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to throw myself off a cliff or something. Step in a bear trap. Some shit like that. <laughs> this pile of corpses here. Again, nothing I can use. Just about full up on stuff again. Okay, so the bike was this way. We're done with ambush camps in this region. Now check this out. This is why I do this. There is a specific reason for why I do this. Now that we have cleared all three of the early game ambush camps, every single point of interest in the area is on the map. Specific locations of historical markers. Specific locations of all Nero injectors. Specific locations of every single nest. It takes the guesswork out of finding all of these fucking nests. They're right there on your map. There is no longer any guesswork. Dive in, go get them. So what we'll do next is we will clear the infestation zones. Now that I have the location of every single nest clearly identified on the map, I'll go take them out and we'll make the area safer. This will open up fast travel routes, and it will just make the area safer to travel through. Once we're done with that, we'll go knock out the Nero injectors. So we're right here at this infestation zone. That's the one we're doing next. Let's go get them. The Jameson Juice Box. What's up, Tom? How are you, buddy? Oh, and, and Joe, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I haven't. Uh, been uh, on top of the comments right now. You, oh fuck! Hang on, give me a sec. Let me catch up. Yeah, I started a job, a new job at a literal popsicle shop. They make popsicles for a living, or is it just actually that cool? Is is that what it is? It's just that cool. Well, fuck yeah, man! Right on. About time. You deserve it, man. You deserve something better. God, don't we all? I don't, because I don't know what you do better than this, but, you know, if you work for a living, you deserve something better. I guess I could be a pot farmer. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, let's go get this infestation zone. Probably going to be some wolves spawn here. There usually are. No, nope, just assholes coming out of the nest. No, yeah, fair enough. I swear that one looks like a bleacher. And where the fuck are y'all going? Seriously. I guess they just heard the bike over that way, so they're going that way. All right, well, let's do this. They are going to come after me? Okay, come on. Hey, 
Nope, wrong button. <laughs> Dang it, Junior. Well, I tell you what. How the hell do you set down a gas can? There, that's what I thought. <laughs> that was that was worth it all right i'll own that one yeah <laughs> i beat you to it cap yeah. <laughs> are you clipping that <laughs> that's not nice you shouldn't do that <laughs> this world comes for you doesn't it <laughs> Fuel. Yeah. Oh, I gotta reload. Hey, that was a headshot. suppressor. Okay. There we go. One nest done. I'm SMP9. That's how you do it. Oh, where else? Yeah, it looks like the kind of place you want to call home, yeah. Okay. Gotta be careful. What you all shit yourself at once? Jesus Christ. Fire in the hole. Getting kind of cold out here. I thought I'd help you out. It'll warm you up. Gotcha. SMP 9. That's why we do it. This place is and hidden trip. loot locations too. You can't be so careless with your materials God if you're not using the hidden loot now locations. Aw huh? oh, damn, that last one didn't light up. Motherfucker. See, I threw one over and hit like that. I know I hit it. It did not ignite it. It just wasted the Molotov. You assholes. All right. Fine. This should do the trick. <laughs> you are going to give me credit for that fucking nest. There we go. All right. Thank you. That was a waste of a Molotov. Shit. Anyway. Born here? Yep. Mm, I'll let that blows up real good. Yeah, I'd like that. Huh? Come on, you sons of bitches, come on. Whew, that's all of them in here. Come on. Hey, could you like go out and stuff so I can walk in there?
Can't pick up those yet. All right. Can't pick up those yet. Well, damn. Don't need that or that. Hey. Okay. Oh, there's got to be a nest in this shack. Asshole. I saw you. <laughs> Motherfucker. Boozer, it's done. I cleared those nests. Should be less freaks on the mountain from now on. Hey, Dig. How'd it go with her? Were there a lot of them? Uh, it wasn't too bad. That's why I wanted to take them on while it's dark out. Some of them were strong as hell, though. Yeah, cold makes them stronger. <laughs> were they, though? Were they really that strong? Yeah, yeah, Boozer. I knew that. Anyway, well, thanks, for, thanks for doing that, thing. <gasps> Get some shut eye, Boozer. Deacon out. Where the fuck did all these freaks come from? Hi. take that okay um let's see now sometimes when you come in this little shack over here a uh, marauder patrol spawns in let's see what happens no no marauder patrol today More freaks. Oh, there you are. Okay. Head back to the bike, and now it's time for the next infestation zone. We may head back to camp and top off our ammo and suppressor and stuff if we need to. ever get through The Last of Us without restarts? Would that, I guess that would be basically a permadeath playthrough. You go through on one 
go through on one coin, basically. <laughs> I know him. Let him in. I didn't think I'd see you around so much. I didn't think I'd see your mom around so much. Deacon, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, let's have some whiskey, babe. Shall we? Fuck yeah, let's celebrate Day's Gone Day. Okay, so we're just going to top off whatever ammo we can here. No worries, it's not going to take that much money, really. Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Come by any time. Later, man. Hope says you've been helping out around the camp. You were saying, but he appreciates it. Manny. Okay, and the next thing is the infestation zone up in the northeast corner up there by the cemetery. So we ain't going to that motherfucker at night. <laughs> Claire's over there chuckling. <laughs> Alright, get in that bed, boss. <laughs> CJ says, so there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i'll tell you what all right check this shit out uh folks uh y'all want to hang out while we're not around we set up this discord it it really is mostly so you guys can visit with each other when we're not streaming uh it's also a great way to keep up with what's going on on our channels uh, if you want to keep up with uh, what's going on on the 8-Bit Terror channel or what's going on on the Spawnicus Rex channel, that's the way to do it right there. We generally put updates there first. Um, and also, you know, we just kind of share fun stuff that we've got going on, you know. Uh, we we live in Colorado, man. This place is awesome. We, we travel a lot. We get out. We do stuff. We go hiking. Uh, and we like to share pictures of stuff that we've done uh, with you guys on the Discord. So right there, that's a working link. Pop on over there and uh, join our Discord, man. Deacon, what's going on? All right. <laughs> Nightbot says probably. Uh, don't be so optimistic, Nightbot. All right. So what we want next is actually this infestation zone up here. Really about the closest we've been is shit, let's just drive it. There's no reason not to. Hold on, I'll get the gate. Oop. Beautiful day for a drive through the Cascades, right? So it's interesting, you know, we actually took a Days Gone inspired trip to Oregon, uh fall of last year and uh, amazing fucking trip by the way but it's interesting the Belknap Hot Springs area is not a desert area that's a real spot the Belknap I'm I'm sorry correct yeah the Belknap Hot Springs is a real place but that region of Oregon is actually more like what you're seeing here in the Cascades uh lots of big Big trees, big pine trees, old, old, old trees, old forest rivers, and, you know, it's foggy and rainy, and, oh, just fucking beautiful country up there. But it's interesting to me that uh, they did make a small design decision there. The Belknap Hot Springs is actually not a desert region like it is in the game. Uh, Belknap Hot Springs is in a lush, wet forest area. I've forgotten to turn the music off. Hopefully we won't get any copyright strikes. I just noticed the cruising around doing nothing music is on. Almost there.
Can't believe we've come all this way and haven't run into any assholes. Bam, wire trap across the road. <laughs> Kidding. Now, one thing that's interesting is once you have You're cleared the road two years ago. Yeah, once you have <laughs> cleared the ambush camps from the area, well the, the number of ambushes will slow down. Are they coming on anyway? Oh, this motherfucker's coming on strong. All right. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. Let's go ahead and deal with these assholes. Hey. Yeah, they just knocked over my bike. You're out of there. You. Oh, hi there. She said, I don't give a shit about your bitch ass bike. God damn. All right, then. Okay. Now, you'll notice that many of the infestation zones will have fuel cans uh, nearby. That's really about the best way to clear nest in the infestation zones. Just throw a fucking fuel can at it. Set it on fire. They respawn. It's, it's an infinitely available resource. Make use of these if you can. The only problem is you can't throw them very far. Uh, so, you know, that's that's one minor complication. You just can't throw them as far as you can to Molotov. And they definitely don't go as far as uh, a uh, crossbow bolt. <laughs> Flaming crossbow bolt. Oh, did y'all see that? Motherfucker. All right, let's get them. And there's freaks coming too, so let's introduce them to the freaks, shall we? Hey, guys. Y'all have fun. Brought you a present. Now it's time to start cleaning them up. Here we go. Fucking early game days gone. <laughs> How about that shit? <laughs> what? All right. That was kind of wild. Oh, I wonder how bad. Uh, I bet the bike is fucking trashed. Oh, oh yeah. There she is smoking. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, look at that shit. God damn it. Well, let's get her fixed up. Got to get back on the road. Got more freaks to kill. That'll hold. Okay, any scrap? No scrap. All right. find some scrap.
These fucking assholes. About to be out of scrap. Jesus, something went down. Wonder if the poor bastards had anything worth looking for. I have never managed to stealth those two assholes right there. Hey, that was, that was totally a headshot. Could have been. Whatever. Nest. Got to be right around here. There we go. Now we can get more scrap. Scrap. <laughs> Rex could probably play this game blindfolded. Well, honestly, not so much. I had to warm up for like two hours earlier today. I haven't played Days Gone in months, man. Not really. Uh, and having played The Last of Us recently, with it being so similar in its play style, but also so extremely different, uh, that I found myself mashing uh, Last of Us buttons. Uh, shit, I've still done it a couple of times, even though I warmed up earlier today. Okay. All right. I think there's only one more nest left in this area. But the thing about that, you know, I, I see folks say, well, you know, you could probably play this game blindfolded or play it in your sleep and stuff. It, it really is repetition, repetition, repetition. But I have systems in place that allow me to be more advanced than the typical player would be at this point. Like just having the SMP9. Right there. Just having that technique available to come in and grab the SMP9 in the first couple hours of gameplay. That right there will literally change the way you play the game. The hidden loot locations. Finding those hidden loot locations and being able to pick up fucking grenades, proximity mines, things of that nature. Having access to gear like that in the early hours of the game will literally change the way you play the game. It'll change the tactics that are available to you. So having that stuff uh, in place to go get these things and clear the map in the way I clear it, that's what makes it look so easy. It, it's all about technique. Here it is. Another micro. All right, let's take a look. Uh, so we're going to have to do one more in focus to keep focus in the lead. If I do one on stamina, they'll then be even. So the next one is focus. Nero had all the good shit. I always alternate stamina and focus in the early game, and uh, I keep focus in the lead. Hmm. Hey, and we need to say hello to Digital Degenerate, who just finished 
12 days ago. Just finished what? Days gone? Oh, yeah. Hey, let's say hello to Kristov. Hey, don't forget your residue. I don't really use the crossbow that much. Oh, uh, I don't have much use for the crossbow, honestly. Yeah, the residue bolts you can't get quite this. I mean, you can, but you would have to do the whatever the Nero mission is. So I think there's a couple more story missions you have to do before you can get the residue bolts. And I've usually cleared this entire area. I've cleared all the ambush camps, infestation zones, and Nero uh, injectors usually uh, before I start. Uh, before I unlock the Nero mission. All right, one more, um, one more infestation, one more nest in this infestation zone. I love the way the thunder struck right as we landed. That was great. that so now you can take a look at the map you can see we, we have removed all of the infestation zones now not only is the area safer to travel through we've unlocked fast travel points and now it's time to clear up the last of the nero injectors in this area there's one here we can't get this one until we hit level two at copeland's camp so we're going to go ahead and push forward with uh, clearing this stuff just unlocking this nero checkpoint up here will put us that much closer Bike's in good shape. A uh, melee weapon could be repaired. Oh, uh, we don't need to... Ah, uh, we do need to make a bandage. Okay, cool. There we go. Push this truck... <gasps> So there's not many uh, speakers here. No, there's one over here. Let's go ahead and top off the bike while we're here. Uh, here we go. Never get some. Good. No oh, cap. I see what you're saying there. Like the game is designed to make you backtrack back and forth a little bit, but it can be a bit tedious. 
I I honestly don't mind. I, I, I'm I tend to be more methodical about stuff like that. It's like I don't really care how many trips I make back and forth across the map. I have a very specific method for how I do it, and it's like it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know how many times you go back and forth as long as you're doing things in an order that makes sense to me. As far as what you get unlocked when. Is it really just those two? No, another one right here. Since we're up here, I'll go ahead and cut it. At this point, having the SMP9, it it really doesn't matter. You're at a point now where you can start blowing through ammo pretty, pretty, uh, you know, recklessly. I think, especially once you get uh, saddlebags for the bike. Oh, DJ Dynamics, uh, 10 p.m. There, time to shut it down. All right. Well, hey, thank you for being here. Happy days gone day. We do appreciate it. Ambush camps, infestation zones, Nero checkpoints, and then available hordes in that order. Shut you out. Yeah, Chris, that's one thing. It, it's, you know, it's just one of those things. It's like you leave camp, that's when they call you on the radio to tell you they have a All new right. mission. It's like, damn it, dude. Now I got to go back to camp and pick up this mission. Okay. Oh, Nedkit. Nice. Now, let's take a look at where we're at. I think it's stamina this time. Correct. We'll want to do one more stamina. And look at that. <laughs> I'm at 99% again. I only need a few points to get one more skill point. <laughs> God damn it. That's the second time it's yes. done that to me tonight. <laughs> Slow and crafty versus balls to the wall. <laughs> All right, yeah, we said stamina. Let's do that. Now, health. I start doing health once I get to Lost Lake. Ah, oh, there we are. There's that skill point we needed. But yeah, once I get to Lost Lake, I start putting Nero injectors into health. And we're getting close to level two with Copeland's camp, and that's our goal here. All right. Is that what this shit is? All right, and what time is it? It's almost 3 p.m. Oh, let's go ahead and spend that skill point. I know we're just going to keep going through the survival tree. I do not use the crossbow. I have no use for the crossbow uh, other than burning out nest with incendiary bolts. So I don't take any of the crossbow skills. Uh, and I don't mind having the plants on the map because I do use uh, stamina cocktails frequently. Stamina cocktails and later in the game, I use the shit out of focus cocktails. There we go. I'm going to camp until morning, and we'll head out and do the next bit. Lurk. Ah. Oh, Chris, you heading out? Well, hey, thanks for being here. I'm glad to have you around. <laughs> Folks trying to lurk in the chat. Okay. Well, let's see. Digital Degenerate saying, don't forget, after that very first Nero mission... When you chase the chopper, after finishing the mission, you can immediately run back and get the injector there. Which one are we talking about? Is that the one where Deacon's on the bike and you chase the Nero chopper, Nero chopper and a runner comes out at you in Belknap? Or are we talking about the Grotto Caves one? Grotto Caves. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I've already got that one. When I get the nest there at the top of the hill outside Grotto Caves... Uh, I get the nest and then I go down into the cave because the horde hasn't started spawning yet. The horde won't be there. It's perfectly safe to go in there and grab that injector then. Okay, we want to head out the north entrance. Okay, now Copeland should be calling us with the uh, motorcycle one before too long. I may need to do one more story mission before that happens. Usually it's when I come out of here, I get the radio call for the bike chase. Uh, but it looks like we'll probably have to do smoke on the mountain first. So let's head out after that one. Mm 
But yeah, that is a great tip, uh, Digital Degenerate, because if you're if you're not all if you don't already have that Nero injector, it is good to know that you can get it right then. As soon as that mission finishes, you can run up there and grab it. No nitrous installed. Dang it. Junior. Uh, we'll have that fixed before too long. We should actually be level two at Copeland's camp pretty soon. We'll be able to get uh, nitro then. Nitro and saddlebag, I believe. don't think we've alerted them a lot of times i do roll Bruce in a man. little too hot right. and heavy and I'm, they hear the uh, bike that camp you spotted north of the mountain uh i heard gunshots uh, it might be an ambush camp i'll find out when i get there deacon out who's man you were right they set up along the railroad tracks kill every one of the sons of bitches oh we're going to don't worry that was kind of the plan. Deacon out. <laughs> we got one of them. I was hoping I'd get both, but oh well. Oh, they are pushing up, aren't they? Damn, too far. What the hell? Maybe. Let's try it. Ah, shit, we only got one. God damn it. Oh, well. There's one. One more. It's like they still don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I'm not even bothering to be quiet anymore. Look out for fucking bear traps. Right there. That's the last of them. There we go. Uh, and there was a bear trap right there. I, I honestly did not know until just now. There was a fucking bear trap right there. <laughs> Damn it, boy. Oh, Jay Stabby, are you heading out? All right. Well, happy days gone day. Uh, that is really cool. You got to hang out and watch Claire's live stream this morning while you were at work. Uh, while you were at work watching her play Days Gone. And now you're on my stream in the evening watching me play Days Gone. That's a good fucking day right there. You heading out? 
Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find Leon's stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest up, loser. We're okay. heading north as soon as you can ride. Oh, I can't. Oh, I need more berries, or I can't craft yeah. any of that. Craft a few of these. Probably about to pick one up since I just crafted some, obviously. Need more gunpowder to make that. All right, well, we really can't pick up much of anything, can we? Teak. Oh, there it God is. Damn it. I'm sick and tired of drifters coming in my camp, killing folk like we were out in the shit. What's going on, Cope? A man come in, drugged out of his mind, shot the place up, then he just took off. And then he said his bike's got a red tank on it. And he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet, silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man, then radio me. We'll fetch him and hang the bastard right from that limb. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order. These drifter game. sons of bitches. No offense meant to yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, none, none taken, taken asshole. Uh, actually, oh. Yes, nitrous boosting. Dude, I don't have nitro yet. Calm down, gang. Calm down. We're going to have nitro soon, but we don't have it yet. All right, there's the flower. There should be another berry over here somewhere Deke, nearby. You there? D did you say you were uh, heading north? Who's man? No. You know, what's up? Dog Bone! Welcome yeah, in, Dog Bone. How are you? Good to see you. What is this? Oh, there, oh, there it is. Do that to you. Yeah. So. Take care of Alvarez, you know. Deke. And there's the take care of it's Alvarez one. I'll take care of her, Boozer. Just get some rest. Deacon out. <laughs> Am I the only one who likes to ride over the guys you catch on the bike chases after you tie them up? <laughs> That's cold, man. That's cold. Oh, uh, Joey Image, you heading out? That must be getting late for folks. I see you though. Deke. Oh, James Guan heading out too? Okay. Well, thank you all so much for being here. Seriously. Thank you. Uh, man, y'all know I appreciate it. It's been a great day. We've had a lot of fun sharing some Days Gone content with y'all. Uh, and look, there's Fan coming in. All right. So uh, some go out, some come in. All right, all right. It's a revolving door around here. I, I, I dig it. Okay, so this is the Chasing Leon and go get uh, Alvarez. And this is the Drugged Out of His Mind bike chase mission. This one should put us uh that should put us at level two with Copeland's camp. So we're gonna go ahead and do, go do that one. And this pretty much works out the same way every time. It works out in this order just about every time. Either I I, I either hit level two with uh doing this Marauder camp or I hit level two with doing this bike chase mission. <laughs> Got a little too wide. Hey, Cope, this man I track you down. We kill. Why do you care? It's just I a don't. bounty job, isn't it? Not luck, I don't care. I just want to know their names. Ooh, Cope. One of them is a man named Randall. Been with the camp almost a year. I didn't know the other two. You want me to ask? No. You not. want me to ask? Oh, 8 bit terror! Check it out. <laughs> well done. You didn't step in a bear trap this time. <laughs> yeah, folks, Super Chat still works. There it is right there. That is an excellent way to support the channel. Buymeacoffee.com slash Bonicus Rex, Patreon.com slash Bonicus Rex, or right there, YouTube. Yeah, that one works too. Grab up some scrap. Grab up some ammo. We fueled up the bike. Now, I'll tell you folks, 
one thing about having these patches unlocked, one of these patches here from challenge mode will increase your accuracy and range when shooting from the bike. Having that single challenge right there, that single patch will help so much with these fucking bike chases. But then also having your SMP9 unlocked early as well, that helps too. You should be able to see, I'm probably going to fuck it up now that we're talking about it, but you should be able to see here pretty quickly, this, he knocked my fucking bike over. That's going to set me behind trying to catch him. Okay, so you're going to see it being a little bit complicated. It's a little bit harder than it should be. Let's go see if we can even catch him. If we can catch him, we should be able to take him out pretty easily. Yes, we know how this works. So, you see the little white markers. As they close in tighter and tighter, that means your shots are more accurate. Green square means open fire. There we go. That quick, that easy. SMP9 is so helpful during the bite chases. Yeah, try using that crappy early game 9mm. It's, it's going to be a bitch of a job. It can be done, but it's a bitch of a job. And even so, even if you're just using that pistol, the crappy early game pistol, still having the challenge mode patch that increases your accuracy and range from the bike, that's still going to help. It is worth it. So yeah, that was actually James Allen McCune right there, wasn't it? The guy wearing the silver motocross helmet here. That is actually James Allen McCune, who he is the voice actor who does Wade Taylor. There we go! We just hit level two with Copeland's Camp. Now, why do we give a shit about level two at Copeland's Camp? I'll tell you why. Let's let this dialogue finish here and we'll take a look at it. Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. The anarchist biker one is impossible without the SMP9, right? Hey, try it with... Try getting that challenge mode patch that increases your accuracy and range when shooting from the bike. It's... No, it's the one from the Iron Butte Horde. It's a challenge that takes place at the Iron Butte Horde. Ranking in that challenge... What about it? Oh, that's one you can do with the... Uh, that's one you can do with the BFG, yeah. Yeah, I misunderstood what you were asking, sorry. Yeah. Okay, is the dialogue done yet? No, better. still not. I still not. got some work okay. to do on the bike, and we got to stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out. Yeah, the bike chases are so easy with the BFG. All right, there we go. Now we're just going to head to Copeland's camp, and I'll show you why we want to get level two here as early as we can. Exactly. No nitrous installed. That's why we want level two at this camp as early as possible. Now, be advised, though, once I hit level two at this camp, I'm done here. Once I've hit level two at this camp and bought the upgrades that I want, I, I only use this camp to resupply. It, I'm done here. I don't put any more points here. I don't put any more bounties here. I don't turn in any more meat here. None of that. Uh, now, of course, I'll continue doing ambush camps. And I'm sorry, I mean to say I'll continue doing camp jobs and stuff. And I'll eventually hit max trust with this camp. Once I hit level two, I stop investing time and energy here. Hey, Damon. So check it out. One of the things about level two, it opens up suppressors for your other weapons. You now have a suppressor for your primary rifle and a suppressor for your sniper rifle that you can replenish at any time. You also now have the ability to purchase med kits. Less useful, but nice. It, it is nice. I usually just fill up on those from picking them up at Nero MMUs and things like that. All right, so we'll get a little nice. bit of ammo. We will go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and top off my suppressors. That. Now that's what I'm talking about. One upgrade coming up. And I don't need the med kit. I'll pull okay. up on those. All right, so yeah, having those suppressors is what makes that Stop cool. Oh, actually, shit, I need now? to use the med kit. We need to heal up anyway. So you now have the ability to heal up in camp, basically. You can go ahead and use this med kit and then just purchase a med kit, which gives you the ability to heal up right here in camp. Come by any time. All right, so now let's see what we can do with the bike. Level 2 bike upgrades at Copeland's Camp. This is also important because you will get uh, better exhaust, but what we really need here right now, we're going to need a better fuel tank. We're going to need saddlebags. And some motherfucking nitro. Cool. Nitro, right on. 
improved fuel tank. Good choice. Right Good on. Choice. And motherfucking saddlebags. Yeah. Got to have that. All right, now we'll just get whatever we can. We'll just top off the bike as best this we can. Brakes and tires are good. Oh, let's do tires. Yeah. Actually, does this this does absolutely no difference in the performance. Purely cosmetic. Don't care. Uh, okay, we have that. Uh, the frame does improve oh, yeah, your durability. So let's do that. I think that's about all we can do. Yo, you need fuel? And, oh shit, we're gonna need uh, like 400 credits to fill the saddlebag for the first time. Forgot about that. Hey Deke, that was life in the shit. I don't think we're gonna. Oh, okay, that got hey, us to 400. Nice. Life treating you. Hey Deke, how's it going? Hey Damon, how's the gun trade? There it is, saddlebags and basics of pain. Hello, basics of pain. Welcome in, man. Good to see you. Yeah, finally, nitrous installed. Nitrous what? actually installed this time. Yeah, okay. See you then. Okay, and I did have a save slot set aside for this. That's the one we were using. Yep, there we go. Save game. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, honestly, folks, just being entirely honest, I don't know when we're going to be doing any more Days Gone. Hopefully sometime soon. Uh, You know, if I get my way, it'll be sometime soon. Let's, can we dial it in a little bit? There we go. That works. Deacon looks kind of apish in that shot. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, yeah, happy Days Gone Day. Uh, I've had a blast celebrating this day with you guys. Um, enjoy all the content that's been put out today. Take a look at the Days Gone subreddit. You'll see a lot of creative people there sharing original creations, original content. Uh, folks that have been doing... Uh, Photo mode stuff, funny missions, glitches they've called, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, a lot of folks from right here in the community uh, in this live chat uh, have made posts there. So go take a look at that. Hop over to the Discord, see if there's anything fun going on over there. Uh, let's see. Today is, what, Wednesday, right? So tomorrow morning, uh, Claire's going to be playing Days Gone on her channel. We're not done with Days Gone there. 8-Bit Terror Channel, formerly known as Days Gone Podcast Channel, is playing Days Gone tomorrow morning. Uh, there is a new episode of the Days Gone podcast. That's motherfucking John Garvin, man. Claire managed to score John Garvin, writer of the game, for her podcast. And it's an excellent episode. He was very candid. He was an excellent guest. He was very open and candid about answering uh, many of the questions that we've had for years. Uh, so have a listen at that. If you would, listen on her YouTube channel, please. That is monetized content. So, like, you can listen and just, like, podcasting apps and shit, and that's cool. Hope you enjoy it. But the YouTube channel is actually monetized for her, so let's try and funnel views to that if we can. Uh, aside from that, tomorrow evening, I'm on with The Last of Us, where I will probably be fucking up on the controls because I'll be trying to do Days Gone controls because <laughs> I've screwed up my muscle memory now, but that's okay, too. Uh, we're still going to have some fun with that. Uh, man, that's all I got. I got nothing. Anything else? Y'all hit us up on the Discord. Tell me about it. <laughs> 30 restarts. Yeah, we only did, what, one restart? Maybe two restarts tonight? I don't even remember. It was at least one. And, yeah, because I blew up a gas can in my face and died. So there was one restart from that. I don't think I restarted again. I don't think I died anymore just that one time. The counter is up to two, but that's because me and uh, me and what Cap I think both put it in the chat at the same time. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's all I got, man. Say, folks, for real. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Thank you to the viewers and the members, all of you guys. You fucking rock, man. I can't do this without y'all. Good night, everybody. We'll see y'all next time.